Your inner dialogue, your inner conversation is always reflected in your world. It's just that simple. It's all about you. Life reflects you. Life says yes to you. And if you're so preoccupied with tearing yourself apart, my God, you know, somehow I hope we all wake up and stop. Treat yourself like you are your own best friend. Lovingly and gently, just get yourself back on track. As we learn to do that, we're going to learn to master the possibilities. There will be a quickening and you're gonna create a greater life. The thing I like about affirmative prayer, you start to use your own executive power to proclaim what it is that you know that you have. You declare that you're powerful. You will declare that you're healthy. You will declare that you're whole. You'll declare that there's a healing pattern operating in you, say in your heart, your circulatory system, or your body. So if you choose to learn how to do affirmative prayer, you're actually learning to direct healing within your own life. Any of these things mentioned, and probably many more, can bring you to a place where you're taking a pause, where you're centering yourself, and where you can start to sense this presence. We want to release the negative thoughts. We want to release resentment. We want to release the need to gossip or be part of anything. You know, anything that's about anger or resentment, any of that stuff all gets in the way. In the science of mind teaching, we don't wish for things to happen to improve. Nothing's going to happen for you by hoping for things to happen. Things will change as you know the truth and you know that there's a pattern of wholeness and health and healing and divine patterns of in operation in all areas of your life. Bring yourself to a place where you can sense and feel that connection. Do whatever it takes until you sense that there is a peace and there's a power and a presence within you. Because there is and you won't notice it unless you slow yourself down enough so you can get in touch with it. Do whatever you need to do to bring yourself to that place because that's the first step of our plan, the plan for conscious spiritual expansion or any hope of manifesting the kind of life you want.